Hey, what's up mga beasts? So we're back for our last video no? regarding sure and moment diagram using the area method, specifically yung mga problems na may triangular loading. So let's go! Ayan, so ganito po yung tura ng ating problem. So meron tayo dito concentrated moment and then a uh, uniformly varying load with a magnitude of 30 kN meter. Tapos meron din tayong uh, UDL na may 12 kN meter. Tapos along this point D, may tumutulak sa kanya pataas na 25 kN and it is uh, supported by a fixed support. Ibig sabihin kapag fixed support yan, ang reactions niyan would be a vertical reaction, no? And also, a moment reaction. Okay? So, meron din siyang actual reaction, actually, yung horizontal. Pero hindi na natin yan i-consider since hindi naman natin kailangan. We are only doing the moment and the shear diagram. Alright? So, let's get started. Unang-una, palaging first step, no? Na isolve muna natin yung ating reactions. So, ang sinosolve natin dito is yung uh, vertical reaction na dito. Let's name that uh, Ry and also ang moment reaction niya ang reaction moment niya let's assume na it's uh, ano ba to? counter clockwise yeah counter clockwise clockwise para stick yan let's name that M okay so ito yung ha ito yung unang kailangan nating hanapin yung mga reaction na to so let's start pero bago pala tayo mag proceed dun, no Kailangan pala natin convert muna ulit yung mga ito mga varying load ka distributed load into uh, concentrated point load. Bakit? Para mas madali natin ma-solve, di ba? So ito, itong 30 kN, i-convert natin yan dito. So ito para makuha natin kung ano yung conversion niya, we will just be solving the area of this triangle. Okay? So the triangle's area is base times height divided by 2. So that's 30 times 3, 30 times 3, 90 divided by 2 is 45. So, this has a value of 45 kN. Ito namang rectangular UDL na to, we we'll just also solve for its area. So, that's 12 times its length acting on a length of 2 meters. So, 12 times 2 is 24. So, dito may nag-act dyan pababa. Sa sentro ah, diretso rin sa sentro kasi 1 meter, 1 meter. So, sentro niya to, which is 24 kilo newton. Okay? So, itong 45 kilo newton pala, it is acting 1 meter from this height. ba? Kasi 1 third ng 3. So, that's 1 meter. Okay? So, I think okay na tayo dyan. Pwede na natin simulan na mag-solve. So, let's start with the summation of moments at ano, summation of moments at uh, ito yung gawin nating reference point. Okay? Summation of moments at point F. Ito, point F. Ito yung point F natin is equal to 0 assuming na clockwise moments ay positive. Okay? So, ano yung mga moments? Simulan natin dito sa pinakadulo. Meron tayong 80 kN meter na concentrated moment which is clockwise. A joke lang, counterclockwise pala. So, negative 80 yan. Tapos, namang load na to na nanggaling sa ating varying load na to which is 45 kN that will create also a counterclockwise moment. Diba? Kasi ito yung pivot point natin. Eh. Ito yung F. Okay, moment at F. So, it will create a counterclockwise. Ibig sabihin, negative rin. Since this is a force and not a moment, kailangan natin i-multiply yung perpendicular distance sa papunta doon. So, that, was, that is 1 meter. Tapos 1. So, magiging 2, 3, 4. So, times 4. Right? Next, ito namang 24 kilo newton. Itong 24 nang galing yan dito sa rectangle na to. Sa uh, uh, rectangular loading na to. So, that's 24. It will also create a counterclockwise moment. Diba? Counterclockwise. Ayan. So, magiging negative friend. 24. Tapos, ano yung distance niya? Punta sa ating pivot point. That would be 2 meters. Right? Next. Ito, meron pa tayo ditong isang point load na pataas naman. So, itong point load natin, it will create a clockwise moment. Kasi gaganon siya. Diba? Pus niya pataas, oh. Hihilay niya pataas. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. Ayan. So, Jesse J. <laughs> Next. So, 25 nga. Ibig sabihin, kapag clockwise, positive na siya. So, plus 25. So, ano yung distance niya? Papunta dito sa ating pivot point. That's still 2 meters. Right? So, mahaba. And lastly, is the M. 
which is the reaction moment na hinahanap natin, na ang sign convention assume natin is counterclockwise. Ay, joke, clockwise pala. So, it would be positive. So, plus m is equal to 0. Tama. Clockwise, so positive. Now, pwede natin solve yung m. Kasi, di ba yung m yung hinahanap natin? Right? So, it transpose natin ito sa kabila. Itong 80, magiging positive. Itong 45 times 4, magiging 180 yan. Magiging positive rin. Tapos, itong 24 times 2, pumunta sa kabilang side ng equation, magiging positive rin. Uh, 24 times 2 is 48. Itong 25 times 2, which is 50, pumunta sa kabila, magiging negative. Right? So, Therefore, moment is equal to, uh, simplify na lang natin yan, plus 48 minus 50 is equal to 258. Okay? So, 258 ang unit natin since this is a moment, kilonewton meter. Alright? So, this moment here has a value of 258, 258 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, next naman na solve natin is yung value nitong ating uh, reaction at y. So, pwede na natin, para mas mabilis, gamit na lang tayo ng summation of forces along the y direction is equal to 0. Assuming na yung uh, pataas ay positive. Okay? So, ano yung mga, mga forces along the y direction? Meron tayo ditong 45 na pababa. So, negative 45. Tapos, meron tayong 24 na pababa. So, negative 24. Tapos, 25 na pataas, so positive. Meron din tayong RY na pataas. So, plus RY is equal to 0. RY is therefore equal to, lagay lang natin sa kabila, magiging 25, negative 25, plus 24, plus 45. Therefore, ang sagot niyan is, ito magiging negative 1, so 44. RY natin, would be equal to 44 kilonewtons. Okay? So, yun yung value ng ating reaction at y. By the way pala guys, no, since positive yung mga sagot natin, ibig sabihin, tama na, tama yung mga in natin na uh, direction nila. So, tama na ito is clockwise, tama na ito is pataas. Pag nag-negative yan, balik ta rin lang yun. Ibig sabihin nang lang non, mali lang yung in nyo. Right? So, let's go. Erase ko lang to. Yan. Erase. Okay, let's G. So, ito rin. Di na, pa natin, di na natin ito kailangan. Yan. Yan. Di na. So, yun lang. Now, let's proceed in our shear diagram. So, let's start here at our uh, zero. So, itong 80 kN meter moment yan. So, it will not affect our shear diagram. Uh, isang tabi muna natin yan. Gagamitin lang natin to sa ating moment diagram. So, next, zero. Along this length, Walang kung ano mang force dyan. Ibig sabihin, diretso lang to. Okay, tapos andito na siya. Then next, kung makikita natin, sa next na length na na to, meron ng UVL or triangular load, di ba? So, kukunin natin yung area nito. Alright? So, area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. And the base is 3 times 30. Yan, height niya is 30 divided by 2. So, this just will be equal to 45. Okay? So, unit is kilonewton. So, itong 45 will be negative. Bakit? Kasi pababa yung direction, oh. Di ba? So, kaya ito, kung ilalagay ko lang dito, it looks like pag anon. Kasi pababa eh. Okay? Habang nag-move forward ka, mas lumalaki, lumalaki yung magnitude ng shearing force na nagtutulak sa kanya. Pababa. Therefore, this will be negative. So, from 0, magsusubtract tayo ng negative. So, 0, 0, kasi nanggaling tayo dito eh. 0 minus 45 will be equal to negative 45. So, let's say nandito yan. Negative 45. Okay. So, next, how will we connect these two lines? It will be connected by a curve. And how will our curve look like? It will look like that. So, paano ko na-conclude na ganun? Tignan lang natin itong ating uh, loading diagram. It looks like that, no? And it is a negative uh, slope. Nasa negative area siya sa baba ng reference ng beam natin. Therefore, kung makikita nyo dito, saan ba yung medyo katulad niya? So, pag ganun dapat, so it's either ito or ito, di ba? Pero, nasa negative. So, pili natin yung nasa negative. Therefore, ang pair niya is ito. So, doon ko na uh, 
conclude na pag ganun yung itsura ng curve niya. So, this is a degree of, anong degree nito mga bis? Ito yung degree niyan kasi yung degree nito ay 1. Okay? So, ito, erase ko lang to Tapos, tuloy na natin. Dito mga bis, hindi ko kukunin yung buong area nito. Bakit ko hininto muna sa part na to Kasi kung makikita niyo may point load na, na sumingit dito sa gitna. So, i-stop muna natin dyan bago tayo mag-proceed sa another rectangle na to So, itong small rectangle, kunin natin yung area niyan para makuha na natin yung next point dito. So, that would be area of a rectangle would be just base times height. That's 1 times 12 kasi yun yung height niya, di ba? 1 times 12 is equal to 12 kilonewton. And that's negative also. Kasi pababa eh, di ba? Pinupush niya downwards. So, from negative 45, mag-add tayo ng negative 12. So, negative 45 minus 12 is negative 57. Sabihin na natin na dyan. Negative 57. Okay, so how will we connect these two lines? It will just be a straight line. Kasi yung degree nito, degree, <laughs> ang degree nito ay 0. And this will become, will have a degree of 1, which is a straight sloping line. Yan. Next. Dito naman tayo sa portion na to, sa part na to. Sa part na to, kung makikita nyo, may point load na tayo, no? May point load tayo na 25 kilonewtons. So, from negative 57, mag add tayo ng 25. Bakit tayo mag add Kasi pataas yung direction niya. It's going upwards. So, negative 57 plus 25 would be equal to negative 32. So, pag taas na dito, magiging negative 32 na siya. So, sabihin na natin nandito siya. Negative 32. Right? Okay. Tapos, mag-proceed na tayo sa remaining na uh, UDL na to. Ang area niyan, same din si area nito kasi di ba symmetrical lang sila? 1 meter, 1 meter. So, that would also be equal to 12 kilonewtons. Pero negative ren. So, since kasi nga pa baba. So, from negative 32, mag a tayo ng negative 12. Negative 32 plus negative 12 would be equal to negative 44. So, andito na naman yan. Negative 44. Straight line lang ulit yan, katulad lang nito. Di ba? Same explanation. And then, pag andito na sa point na to, tuntunin natin ang maglakbay tayo sa beam na to. Sa ating paglalakbay, makikita natin na walang nakaharang na mga loads. Ibig sabihin, constant lang yan. Hindi mag-iiba yung ating shear force dyan hanggang sa point na to which is still negative 44. And pagdating natin dito, tignan nyo yung ating reaction at y, pataas, which is which has a value of 44 kilonewtons, positive. So, negative 44 plus 44 is 0. It will cancel out. And babalik siya doon. Okay, so yun po ang ating shear diagram. So, ito po yung ating shear diagram. Yay! Congrats! Next, punta naman po tayo sa ating moment diagram. Alright, so sa ating moment diagram, simulan ulit natin dito. So, from zero, kung makikita nyo, magkakaroon na ng effect ito. Kasi nga, moment na tayo eh. Moment diagram. So, itong 80 kN, it is, it is a moment which is a clock counterclockwise. So, kapag counterclockwise, negative yan. Lagi na, counterclockwise, negative. Kapag clockwise, positive. Ibig sabihin, bababa tayo dito ng 80 or 80. Yan. Negative 80. Okay? So, continue na tayo. Tignan natin sa ating shear diagram, walang area na na-form dito, no? So, ibig sabihin, constant lang rin. Yan. Hanggang dito. Ngayon, kung makikita natin, may area dito. So, we need to solve for this area. This area ng portion here. So, para ma-solve yan, gagamitin natin yung formula of a parabolic spandrel. And the formula for that is 1 third base times height. Kasi, di ba, yung mga previous video natin, kung napanood nyo yun, yung portion na to, ito yung palaging sinosolve natin. Eh. Palaging ganito yung andun na example. Ang formula natin dyan is 2 third base times height. Um, this is the area of a semi-parabolic curve. Itong natitirang part na to, this is the area of a parabolic spandrel. So, ibig sabihin, kapag 2 thirds to, ito, one thirds lang, okay? So, yun dun nakuha yung formula na yun. Now, i-control z ko lang yan. Okay, so let's just substitute. One third, ano yung base natin? Ito yan, that's 3 meters. Times height, ano yung height niyan? That's negative 45. Negative 
45. Cancel, cancel. Therefore, the area is negative 45. So, from negative 80, mag-add pa tayo ng negative 45. So, that would be equal to negative 80 minus 45 is equal to negative 125. So, dito, no? Ang next na value dyan is negative 125. And how will we connect these two lines? I will connect those two lines ng pag -anon. Ang degree ngayon nito ay 3. Di ba ang degree nito is 2? So, after 2, anong next sa 2? 3. Yay! <laughs> Ayan. So, kung nalilito kung bakit kayo, bakit ganun po yung kind ng curve ulit, mag-refer kayo sa ating bird mountain chart. Kung bago ulit kayo dito sa ating bird mountain chart, Tinatawag natin siyang bird mountain chart kasi may bird tsaka may mountain. Okay? Original yan. <laughs> Tapos, tignan natin dito. Ang kind ng curve dito ng kung saan yung kung saan nang galing ay pag ganun, di ba? So, tignan lang natin kung nasaan to sa ating curve. It's either ito or ito. Mamili tayo sa dalawa. Piliin natin yung ito kasi nasa negative area siya, di ba? Nasa baba. So, ano ba yung pair nito? Iyon yung pair niya. So, pag ganun yung curve na magkoconnect sa dalawang line na to. So, yun po yung ginawa ko. Teka lang, ayusin ko yung curve para maayos naman. Yeah. Parehas lang naman. <laughs> Ayan, next. So, yung mga next shapes na natin ito, next shapes na natin, kung makikita nyo, trapezoid yan. Ito, trapezoid rin. Trapezoid rin yan. So, madali na lang yan natin yung masol. We use the formula for Trapezoid, which is area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the height. So, simulan natin dito ng base 1 natin is negative 45. Tapos base 2, negative 57. Divided by 2, ano yung height niya? Ito, 1 meter lahat yan. Tigo 1 meter, no? Yan, 1 meter yan. So, 1 meter. So, compute lang natin. Negative 45 minus 57. Divided by 2 is equal to negative 51. So, times 1 is just negative 51. So, from negative 1 to 5, magsusubtract pa tayo ng 51. Diba? Negative 1 to 5 minus 51 is negative 176. So, sabihin na natin na andyan. Wait, yellow dapat para parehas. Negative 176. So, how will we connect these two lines? We will connect that. Tingnan ulit natin yung... Ginawa natin graph. ba Kapag pa ganun, it's either ito or ito, ba Pero pili natin ito kasi nga nasa negative area siya, nasa baba. So, ito yung kind ng curve na gagamitin natin. So, continuous lang yun. Ayan, pag ganun siya. Tapos, sunod natin yung area naman nito. Same formula, base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. So, solve natin yung area ng portion na to. So, to solve for the area of that, that would be base 1 is negative 32 minus base 2 is negative 44 divided by 2 times height is still 1 meter kasi tiguan yung spacing niyan eh. 1. So, negative 32 minus 44 divided by 2 is negative 38. Okay? So, from negative 176, mag-subtract pa tayo ng negative 38. So, negative 176 minus, neg minus 38 is equal to 200, negative 214. So, bababa ulit siya dito. Negative 214. And how will we connect that line? Same yon same yon So, pag ganun pa rin. No? Pag ganun pa rin siya. Okay? Curve pa rin yan. And then, lastly, so yung, yung degree nito, 2 yan, no? 2 rin yung degree niyan. Kasi 1 yung degree nito, 1 yung degree niya. Next, ito, horizontal straight line na lang to. So, this will be a rectangle. So, area of a rectangle is just base times height. That's negative 44. Negative 44 times 1 is negative 44. So, from negative 214 dito, mag-subtract ulit tayo ng 44. So, magiging negative 258. 258. And this will be connected now by a straight line. Bakit straight line? Kasi ito, ang degree nito ay 0. So, yung next na degree dito is 1, which is a straight sloping line. Okay, so from negative 258, kung makikita natin yung ating uh, FBD or the free body diagram, meron tayong reaction moment which is clockwise, di ba? And pag sabi natin kapag clockwise, positive yan, which is a value of 258. So from negative 258, 
aakyat tayo ng 250 ibig sabihin magka-cancel out babalik ulit siya sa 0 okay so babalik siya sa 0 di ba ikaw binalikan ka ba <laughs> yon so ayun walang personalan mat lang <laughs> So, balik na tayo sa zero. Okay? So, ito po yung ating shear diagram and ating moment diagram. So, yun mga dis. Bale, in conclusion, ano yung conclusion natin ng ating maximum shear ay 57 kN and ang ating maximum moment ay 258 kN m. So, yan. Uh, I hope may natutunan po kayo kung may clarification or Kung may mali man akong mga pinagsasabi dito, no? Uh, kindly comment down below para naman makapag-usap tayo kahit minsan. So, please like, share, and subscribe. Muli, ako po yung buboy na nagpapalala sa inyong maglakbay, mag-enjoy, maglaro, manaliksik, maging matinik. Chubby out.